In this video, we're going to tackle a strip model diagram and how we can use it when we begin to tackle division. So as students begin to expand their understanding of division and basic facts, they gradually get to a place where they'll need to divide a four-digit dividend and a one-digit divisor. So here, for this case, we'll take 4,256, and using a linear model or a strip model diagram, we're going to share these base 10 blocks. Starting with the base 10 blocks says that we're beginning conceptually. So here we'll take our thousands and begin to just partition those, share them evenly within each section. On the left-hand side, all we're doing is keeping a running total for what we still have left to share. With the hundreds plates, we'll need to decompose those because we only have two of them that we're sharing in four sections. So once we decompose those, we can now place five groups of 10 inside each box, which is where the 200 came from. Then we'll go ahead and share one extra stick of 10 inside each section, and we'll need to decompose that last 10 into 10 ones. And when we do that, we're now able to see that if we have 16 ones and we divide that into four groups, we'll get four in each group. So here we've began to use the concrete model of the base 10 blocks and the abstract thinking of recording in numerals. Well, here is where we make a connection. Here you can see that we've taken a piece of paper, we've folded it up four times into four sections, and now we start recording each of our individual moves. And as we do this, we're intentionally making a connection between the concrete, the representational, and abstract. And it's important that we give students lots of opportunities to move back and forth through these different types of thinking. Let's take a different example. 7,638 divided by four. Here, we'll show what this can look like when we don't use base 10 blocks. The thinking's the same, but we begin to link the representational and the ab abstract as opposed to the concrete and the representational. So here you can see that we took our thousands first. Then a student might look and see, oh, I have 3,638 left. I know four times 900 is 3,600. That's the most efficient. And at the end, you can see that we have a remainder of two and that's where context matters. And then eventually, we'll begin to strip away and remove the strip model diagramming, and now we're just left with that thinking, where students can now annotate each of their moves on the top as opposed to the side. And there's your need to know.